I'm here tonight with Susie the dog. Susie's actually been under testing for quite some time and she's the dog of a good friend of mine and we've been um, doing some debugging on some of her health issues. Susie had, yes, you had watery eyes and lots of itching and skin issues. Um, and she also had some uh, soft stools that we were we've been working on with her. We've been working with Susie for um, several months now, so she's already made a lot of progress. Um, we've already changed a lot of things, but we're just going to do some testing tonight and kind of go through examples of what we would test um, with dogs to look at some maybe some food allergies, to look at some parasites, to look at some uh, supportive things that might help her. Um, with various things she's going through. So I'm just going to start off with the foods. I have actually forgot my normal magnet and so I have grabbed a fridge magnet off the fridge and just taped it to my hand which works as well. I'm going to just hold Susie and Susie's owner is going to try to pull my fingers apart and see how strong I am. Okay and now I've got Susie's dog food here. I'm just going to hold that onto Susie and we're just going to see how she's testing with her own dog food. Actually pretty strong there. Really <laughs> strong. Really strong, so that's great. She's got um, Zeewee Peak uh, grass-fed venison here, so that's good that her food is still doing good, doing well for her. We've got the Zeewee Peak, um, very exciting, the Zeewee Peak lamb. I'm going to hold that on her as well. She's going to get real excited now. Try to pull the fingers. Lamb also testing pretty strong here, so that's good. Those are both um, foods that, that seem to be good for her. We've got some salmon dog treats from uh, Darford. We're just going to hold those for on her for a minute. Not quite as strong. Not as strong in the Darford treats. And what about this one? This is the Z-Bones grain-free dental chews. So let's see how she's doing on those. Not bad, but not as strong as a zeewee. Not as strong as a zeewee. Okay. Um, I, I brought a couple of foods here just to try out. I brought some sugar. I brought some honey just to see how, how her gut is doing with the sugar. Improved. Improved. Okay, so yeah, improved on that. And I'm just going to see how she's doing on dairy. Not that we want to feed these things to her, but this is kind of telling me not really well on the dairy. Okay, this is just kind of telling me what's her gut function look like. We've been working on it for a while and we radically changed her diet so she's um, doing a lot better but that just kind of tells me um, how well her GI tract is functioning. She's getting kind of excited about the sugar here. Um, yeah, and now we're going to test her on a couple of shampoos. I've got some um, Vet Solution Aloe and Oatmeal Shampoo and I've got the um, Rosemary Mint Shampoo Bar so from Burt's Bees. So I'm going to go for the Vet Shampoo first and hold that onto her. Pretty strong. That's very strong. Okay, so she's good now on the Vet Shampoo. Doesn't seem to be bothering her. And the Rosemary Burt's Bee Shampoo Bar. Not bad, but not good, not compared to the Okay, vet. so the Vet Shampoo is testing. The best on her. I've got one other. I've got a just a People Nivea cream here. I'm going to try that. No, not working. Okay, and we've got a couple of moving on to um, parasite medications. We've got mostly three different versions of worm medication here, and we may or may not be able to, we'll see if she tests stronger on any of these or not. Um, if she does, then that's, that indicates to me she may have worms and that might be look, worth looking into. If she doesn't, it just means that um, parasites or worms aren't bothering her at the moment. It doesn't necessarily mean that she doesn't have any. Um, it just means that we're not seeing that as, her, as something her body thinks is a priority right now. So I'm going to start with diethyl, which is a, a worm medication. Pretty strong on the diethyl, huh? Mm -hmm. um, Mebex, Mebendazole. Nope. Nope. Not really. Pretty weak on the Mebendazole. And Pyrantal Palmate, which is pinworms. I can get you part, but barely. Barely. Okay, so she's testing the best on the diethyl, which is 
my guess for that would probably be heartworms. Um, in dogs, that's pretty common, and diethyl is really good at heartworms. So that would be my guess that she's actually maybe got some in there, and that might be worth it looking into. Um, moving on here, I've got um, some Phytolaca, which is really good for warts. And Susie's had some wart problems. You maybe can't see them, but she's had some warts that have been bothering her. So I'm just going to put this, um, I think she had one good one up here, right? Yeah, here's one right here. Here's one. Oh, there's one. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to put this on her ward and just see how she's testing on the Phytolaca. It's a homeopathic remedy for warts. You're getting me apart, but is it weak or stronger? Weak. Weak. Okay, so the Phytolaca is mm -hmm. the homeopathic remedy for warts. doesn't seem to be uh, helping her. Now I'm going to move on here. We've got a couple of things. Move this here over. Um, we've got some some detox kind of things for um, protozoan parasites that she seems to be uh, working through and GI issues. And um, we've got Xenobite here. We've got some Diamaceous Earth. And we've got some Ultra Clear for her liver just to support detox. Um, she's had bad allergies in the past, those have kind of resolved, but we've still seen um, some of these be helpful with some of her um, GI, GI issues. So I'm going to start with the Xenobite here. Good, strong on the Xenobite. And start on the Diamaceous Earth. Very strong. Very strong on that as well. And the Ultra Clear. Very strong. Very strong. So I think right now she is actually, yeah, we'll get to that. I think right now she is actually on the Ultra Clear. Yes. And on the DE. Right. Um, mixed in her food. And the fact that she's testing still really strong on those two says we should probably keep doing that. Because mm -hmm. she seems to still be wanting that. And then we've got caprylic acid, which we've given her for yeast. She seemed to have a yeast overgrowth. Um, and so we've been giving this to her. So we're just going to see if she still needs that or not. Yeah, she strong. Still needs that. Okay, so still strong on that one. And then can you grab those? Um, we've been giving her as well some drainage remedies. Uh, one is skin for all of her skin issues. And now she's, her skin issues are pretty much resolved. She's just got some warts. And she's also on the lung terrain. These are both from Terrain Max. So I'm just going to test her on those. I know you want to go. She wants to go play, but see how she does. She still needs a pretty strong on skin. Mm -hmm. Let's try lung. Let's see what's going on with the lung terrain. Not as much. Not as much. Okay, so just the skin. Um, so we've got the skin terrain testing well on her. We've got the caprylic acid testing well, the DE and the ultra clear. Um, one of the parasite medications, her um, her vet aloe and oatmeal shampoo testing well, um, and her ZWP grass-fed dog food as well testing well. So this is the way I like to test dogs with a surrogate um, holding onto the dog and then another person testing. If she were having any major skin issues or flare-ups, then I would tend to hold on to that area and put my various guesses for the solution um, onto that area as well and then test her. But at this point, she's not really having any major symptoms. We've cleared up her um, diarrhea or loose stools. We've cleared up most of her skin issues, her allergies, her, her um, watery eyes and itchy is it seems to be gone as well so we're just kind of doing a checkup here with her tonight to uh, to see how she's doing and what she still needs and her pungent smell has gone oh and she had a pungent smell that's right and that's also pretty much resolved mm -hmm. so it looks like she's still got a few things to take and a few things she's still working on but overall pretty good progress here